Okay, this video is about finding the missing angle in a triangle. So what you need to know is angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So these three angles have got to add up to 180 degrees. We already know two, and we've got 100 and we've got 45. So, so far we've got 145 degrees. So what we need to do to work out the missing angle is do 180, take away what we've got. So 180, take away 145, that's 35 degrees. So this angle, x, is equal to 35 degrees. Whenever we do these questions, we'll give a reason for our answer. And the reason is because angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, here's a different triangle. Um, this time we've got this square thing. And um, what this means is it's 90 degrees. That's a 90 degree angle. So in this example, we've got 90 degrees and 48 degrees so far. So we've got 138 degrees. And again, the angles in the triangle are up to 180 degrees. So we need to do 180, take away 138, and that's 42. So 42 degrees. X is 42 degrees. Same reason, angles in a triangle are up to 180. Always give our reason. Angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, this is a different type of triangle. These two lines here mean that these two lengths are equal. So whenever we've got a triangle with two equal lengths, it's called an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. So two equal lengths is an isosceles triangle. So if we had three equal lengths, all three the same, that'd be an equilateral triangle. Um, and each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees because all the angles are the same. All the lengths are the same, all the angles are the same. But this is an isosceles triangle. That means two lengths are the same. And if two lengths are the same, the two angles underneath them, kind of the two angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. So if this one's 45, this one's 45 degrees as well. And if I've got 45 and 45, that means I've got 90 degrees and 180 in the whole triangle. Take away the 90 we've got is 90. So X is equal to 90 degrees. And well, there's two reasons for this. Um, angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal and angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, here's a different isosceles triangle. So we know that these two are equal, the two at the base of an isosceles triangle. Uh, that works no matter what way around you have it, by the way. So if we have it, these two are equal, this is actually the base. And have to twist it around. Um, because this is 80, these two are the same. So if, if we take 80 away from 180, that's 100 left. So both of these are up to 100. And because they're the same, they've got to be half each. So x is 50 degrees. And again, I'm not going to write it this time, but angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. And Angles in a triangle are up to 180 degrees. Okay, here's four questions. So um, give them a go, pause the video, and then I'll put the answer up after. Okay, so this one over here, um, we've got 90 and 45. So 180 take away 135 is 45. So 45 degrees. If it, like, you have to give your reason. So angles in a triangle are up to 180 degrees. I'm not going to write that for everyone because They've all got the same reason, apart from that one's got an extra reason, but um, let's do this one down here. So I've got 80 and 30, that's 110, so I need 70 more, 70 degrees. 
So here I've got 92 and 28, that's 120, so I need another 60 degrees. Here I've got 88, which means I've got, well, 92 left. These two add up to 92, so they've got to be 46 each. So x is 46 degrees.